At 14, I decided that that one week vacation when my parents closed their restaurant every year, we were gonna get on an airplane and go to Mexico. And we had never been on an airplane before as a family going on vacation. We'd never been out of the country before. We get there, go up to our room, which faces out on the Alameda Park. I opened the windows and at that very moment, I knew that I was home. I knew that that was a place that felt so comfortable to me. I was looking out over the Alameda Park and this is 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night and there are street vendors. I could smell what they were making come wafting up to the hotel room. I could see the people with the balloons. I could see the ladies that were roasting nuts. I could see the, the uh, stro strolling um, bands, the mariachi bands. I could hear them playing off at a distance. And there was so much life and so much vitality that I knew that I wanted to be part of that. And at first, I was really interested in Mexico from a cultural perspective only later on to realize that the cultural perspective I felt most comfortable with in Mexico was the culinary culture. And with that, I delved 100% into it. So my goal in the restaurant is not to do museum quality recreations of a Oaxacan mole, but instead to give you a dish that will impact you, will give you that wonderful feeling, the same wonderful feeling that you would have if you ate that in, in Oaxaca. I, I always thought of my role as being the person that if I did a really good job, I could create a memorable moment at the table. It might not be about the food per se, but the food is the thing that is the catalyst to that really amazing time. Top Chef Masters, it's kind of a funny thing because um, I had no idea what I was getting into when I, I started this and I thought, you know they had it set up that you were gonna compete against four other really good chefs but only one was gonna win and three would go home and I thought, uh, I'll never win that kind of thing and then um, if I lose, I mean, you, what was your odds? They were not very, not very great of winning anyway. So I thought it'd be okay, only to learn during the very first competition, I had a lot to lose. I mean, you could look like a fool really easy. <laughs> and I thought, my, my God, it's like I've spent all these years building up this career just to see it all go down the tubes because I can't make a dish that's all green in 30 minutes and have it, you know, <laughs> have it appeal to some judges that I don't even know who they are. <laughs> so um, it, was, it turned out to be a really, really harrowing experience. <laughs> yeah.